Det er klæder. Ah. Det her er det store træ. Ja. Okay. They're coming, sweetheart. Easy. That's your family up there. Det er svært at styre det her kamera, mens jeg passer på dig, min kære. The problem, sweetheart, is that I have a camera here, and when I aim the camera at crows, they have a memory that sharp objects in people's hands be, be, can be a gun that shoots them. You hit them, they're all above us now. If I can try to get him to come. You can see that there is still a defect in the right ability of the right paws to, to grab. And um well, he can survive that in a while, but it is disconcerting. Hopefully, uh, so his wing, his right wing was also. This is uh, June 23, 2012. St. Hans Aachen. Uh, the day that we celebrate the uh, summer solstice in Denmark. It's also the uh, St. John the Baptist holiday and a national saint of Denmark. And we have this ceremony tonight, it's called Hex Aufheimning. Very terrible thing. It, it started back in the Iron Age or long before that as a way of celebrating the day that the sun is out the longest and life and warmth and beauty and everything coming forth. It's okay, Shivi. Those crows up there are fine. They love you. They just have an aggressive way of talking sometimes, you know? A human being is not supposed to be this close to a crow. It must mean something terrible to those crows because, you know, a lot of people, they shoot them. Anyways, um, but uh, around 15... Oh, I see if you came straight. Um, um, whoa. Oops. Uh, in um, 1500s, what occurred was, uh, after the uh, Lutheran Revolution, King Christian IV... Oh, Shiva, you want to take my glasses? So, all right, I'll take them off. Yeah, you can play with them. Uh, in, well, it's after 1536, uh, Martin Luther had a great idea that we should disconnect from top-down uh, nonsense from the Vatican. That was a brilliant moment. But it lasted only a moment because then the king took the power again. And he had this thing that anybody that uh, disagreed with that should be burned. And then he got off on burning women that went to the forest to get herbs and befriend crows. 
you know, I would be burned at a stake if uh, I walked around in Denmark in 1536 to 1600, early 1600s. See, the crows are up there again. Those are your uh, extended family. You won't believe what human beings call that. They call that a murder. You don't give a shit, do you? <laughs> Anyways, uh, King James of Scotland at that time. Uh, ow, ow, be nice, be nice. That's my eyelid. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my, yeah, okay, you're sweet enough. He came to uh, Denmark and learned from King Christian IV how to burn women, how to torture them to death. Yeah, and King Christian IV is the most beloved king in Denmark's history because he's the builder king. He made Copenhagen beautiful and looked like Amsterdam. You don't give a shit about any of that, do you? But anyways, that's, that's the history. Namaste. The other thing, sweetheart, about King James was uh, of Scotland that came to, came to Denmark to learn how to burn women, torture them to death, is that uh, he put his name on a very famous book, King James Bible. <sighs> History is funny when you learn it.